I'm making this video because I'm going to repower a walker mower with a 24 horse lifing motor. I've already done it once and so I'm going to do it again on another mower that I got. I'll show you the mower here. Right now it's currently got a 16 horse single piston Kohler command engine that uh, came out of a Cub Cadet. Somebody has already repaired this thing once and you can see I had to re relocate the oil filter because they would just smash the side of it in so to clear the crazy wheel. But uh, anyway, we're going to take this motor out and we're going to slam this 24 horse lifing right down in there. Basically, it's like a uh, Honda GX630 clone. Um, anyway. Uh, I've already done it once and I'll kind of show you what that looked like But I'm doing this to kind of document all the stuff that we needed To do to make that more fit or that engine fit Anyway I was looking at the air filter situation because I don't particularly like the way the air filter situation is on this engine because Really gonna have to stay on top of keeping it surface serviced as dusty as it is. But uh, this is the exact same model mower, an MC GHS, and you can see here I've already successfully. Uh, Cram this motor in there. I kind of did some uh, modification to get that oil cooler on there. And then also to clear this air cleaner uh, assembly, the cover on the air filter. We had to cut the body of this thing out. And then we had to uh, space the bagger up. You can see the uh, spacers I've got in there. But uh, everything works. We also had to manufacture an extension here for the sheet. So uh, you can see how we did that. Just kind of got some sheet metal and riveted right in there. Um, but for the most part on this one, I got a spacer plate under it for uh, that I got from uh, Performance 670 there. You can see the spacer plate down under there. And I also bought the hub adapter for the Kohler engine from Performance 670. So I could use my shaft and all my, it's got the original pulleys and belts. And everything works as it should. I did have to modify the linkage here to, to make the throttle work. And then I got another plan for that because I think I found a, a whole assembly here for a Briggs and Stratton or not a Briggs and Stratton but a Honda engine that will uh, fit right on there so uh, and this here kind of creates a little extra slop in my throttle up there so uh, I'm gonna try to resolve that so anyway just kind of see where I'm going with this but it all works and this thing starts up like a champ Looks like I got the blade engaged there because I was playing with something. But... And we rode a couple yards with it. So, uh, Here, 
You got that thing going and it cuts like a champ. Plenty of power. No issues there. So again, want to do that other mower and try to document what we've done.